Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the area of a triangle. Well, the area of a triangle is fairly simple. You just need to know a formula and then know how to find the parts to fit into that formula to solve it. So let's look at the formula. Okay, the area of a triangle is just one half the base times the height and that represents the area, so big A, of a triangle. Okay, so H is our height but the height in this case is really an altitude drawn from the peak down to a base and the base is the reference side that that altitude touches. There is another video on Huron, Huron's formula if you don't have the altitude. So look for that one if you need it. But here are three examples. So these are the three cases. We have a right triangle, we have an acute triangle, and we have an obtuse triangle. And it kind of is three separate ways to look at it. So just Bear with me as I go through each type. Okay, when you have a right triangle, the one-half base times height formula is so simple. So let's do that one first. Okay, we have this side of three, and notice we have a right angle here. So that means that's the same thing as my altitude or my height. So three is my height, so I'm going to plug in three for H. And then it touches the side that's the base of four. So four is my base, so I'm going to multiply. 4 times 3 to get 12, and then half of 12 is 6. So the area of this triangle is 6, and notice these are in inches. That little double mark means inches. So I put inches squared, or square inches, okay? Now let's look at the acute triangle. Okay, all three angles are less than 90, so it's acute. Um, it also actually looks kind of like it's isosceles, like these two sides. Could be the same. We don't know that, but it could be. Okay, we have an altitude drawn, and this side, this altitude is 8, and it touches, notice it touches this base that is 5. So even if I had these two sides, let's say that this side was, um, let's say this side was 9 and this side was 9, I wouldn't use those because I have an altitude or a, the height and the base already given. So I just multiply um, the base, which is 5, times the height or the altitude, which is 8. That's 40. Half of 40 is 20. So this one is 20 square inches. Okay, so that is how you handle an, ob an acute triangle. Now let's go down and look at this obtuse triangle that I have drawn. So make a little room here so we can look at this last one. Sorry, this will just take a second so you guys can see it. Okay, so now I have an obtuse triangle. Okay, I have um, two sides that are equal, so these two sides are six and this is nine, and then outside the triangle I have the altitude drawn. So if I extend this side out, you can see this altitude is coming straight down here. Well, it's touching this extended base, so whatever side it touches, I have to use that as my base. Okay, so 5 is my height or my altitude, and 6 would be my base, and I would not use this side of 9 at all. So let's plug in 1 half base times height. So 1 half, my base is 6, my height is 5. 5 times 6 is 30, so 1 half times 30 is 15. So this one would be 15 square inches for the area. So those are the three cases. Hope this video was helpful.